Running a marathon and training for a marathon is already a pretty daunting task as is. Now tack on the fact that you have to still maintain your nine to five job and your other responsibilities and it can seem damn near impossible. My name is Andrew and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a few key tips to help you navigate training for your next or first marathon and maintaining your social life and nine to five job responsibilities. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first tip I have for you, and probably one of the most easiest and important to take care of is have yourself a good structured training schedule. Know exactly what you need to do Monday through Sunday, every day of the week, and leave your room for your rest days and other days where you need to take off for your responsibilities. Having structure is very important for any training regimen at all, no matter what the distance you may be racing. So make sure you know what you're doing ahead of time so that way you can plan everything else around it or reverse that and plan your training around what you need to take care of. I've gone through this before with having to work a second shift job where I'm working from 4 p.m. to midnight and then trying to fit my runs and my workouts before I go to work. Or I've also done this the reverse way where I was on third shift working midnight to eight in the morning and then having to figure out if it's better for me to get my runs before I go to sleep around like three o'clock or doing my runs right after work at around 9 a.m. So really, it's, it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing, but knowing what you need to do training-wise Monday through Sunday is very detrimental to being able to plan everything else. Now, this next tip's going to sound a little bit contradictory to what I just told you in the first tip, but hear me out. Allow for flexibility within your scheduling. Now, I know, like I said, it sounds like I'm backpedaling here, but you got to understand, life is going to happen. Things are going to come up. You're going to get sick. You could get hurt. Things are gonna happen with your family. You're gonna to have to take people to school, pick them up from work. Your car could break down and now your transportation's limited. Life is going to happen, whether you like it to or not. So you need to allow for yourself to have that flexibility to be able to take care of your training sessions at certain times, certain days, and just be mobile. Not everything's perfect, but at the end of the day, the main thing we're trying to focus on is not what happened on a day-to-day basis, but what happens at the end result of this entire build. This next tip, it's gonna seem a little difficult at first, but trust me, the people around you are gonna understand as long as they truly care about you and know what it is that you are trying to accomplish is for a positive thing. And that is, it is okay to say no. What I mean by that is, there's gonna be nights where your friends are gonna wanna say, hey, let's go out Friday night but you have a long run on Saturday morning that's getting pretty close to your race and you can't afford to flake out on that or have a bad training session in the morning. So it might be better for you to say, no, I can't go out tonight. You know, I got something I got to do at like 6 a.m. in the morning. So it's for the benefit of you. Now, obviously, if your friends care, your friends love you and they want to see you succeed in what you're trying to accomplish, they're going to have no problems with this. I've done this in the past where I actually went completely sober for the past year because I wanted to make sure that I was completely dialed in with my training and my health to make sure I could avoid as many obstacles as possible. I'm not saying say no to everything. I'm not saying you can't go out once in a while to grab a bite to eat or go grab a drink or two, but what I'm saying is do it strategically. There's gonna be times where you know it is more harmful to your training and to what you're trying to accomplish than others. This next tip I got for you is gonna require you to dig very deep and ask yourself an insanely important question. And that question is, why are you doing this in the first place? Are you doing this to get a medal, to get a t-shirt, to get a bib with your name and a number on it? Maybe you're doing it to prove to somebody else that you can run a marathon and maybe you, you just had to do it when you wanted to, or are you doing it to prove something to yourself? Are you doing it to challenge yourself to prove that you're stronger than you are, that you can be disciplined, that you can take this amount of time and accomplish whatever. Because you're about to go into a journey where you're taking 12 to 20 weeks, depending on how long you wanna train, to try to put your body, your brain, your emotions, everything through absolute hell just to cross the finish line. If you don't have a strong enough reason why you wanna do this, those 12 to 20 weeks are gonna feel terrible. You're not gonna wanna get those extra training sessions and you're not gonna wanna put those extra miles in because it's hot out or it's gonna be raining all week. I'm gonna have to skip like three days. Well, if you really wanna do it, that's not gonna be a problem. You're gonna get out there. You're gonna try your best. Maybe you don't do the full session, but you push yourself. You gotta have a good reason why. 
My particular reason why is I wasn't living my life to the fullest. I had gotten in really bad shape, my health was questionable, and I just really felt like I was wasting my life. So I began signing up for races, training myself, trying to get some structure, get some discipline in my life, and build myself into who I actually wanted to be. Now that might not be your why, but if you already know your why, comment it below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Maybe it could help inspire other people to look at a direction that maybe they didn't think of. But you gotta know your why. It's insanely important in almost every aspect of life. Maybe you're just trying to chase the ice cream in. Who knows? You just wanna be in good enough shape to do that. But you gotta know why you wanna do it. And my final tip that I have for you today is to make sure you are having fun. Make sure that you are in love with the process and the journey that you're about to go on because these next 12 to 15 weeks are going to be mentally, physically, and emotionally exhausting. You're going to be stressed out. You're going to get worn down. So you need to make sure that you love what it is you're doing so you don't quit. A good way to keep this going is have an accountability group, whether that be your friends, your family, or you sign up and join a local run club. Just have some people around you that can keep you in check mentally, emotionally, and physically. Maybe help guide you because they've done this before or they just have your best interest at heart. But you need to make sure that you are actually enjoying this entire journey. And having people to laugh around with and have a good run with is very important to that. So always make sure if you're going to do something, make sure it's something you love. And I don't care if it's running, biking, it's probably not going to be swimming. Swimming sucks. But make sure you're having a good time doing it. All right, you guys. Well, that is all for me today. I hope you find these tips useful and I hope you make it to the finish line of your first or next marathon or half, whatever it is you may be training for. Because at the end of the day, it's very fulfilling to feel when you've put the work in, you've made the sacrifices and you've gotten the end result that you really wanted. So if this helped, please consider giving a like or subscribe. I'd love to hear how your race goes. Please comment up below. I'm always responding to any comments that come my way. So anyways, guys, have a good rest of your day. Have a good marathon season, and I will see you in the next one. See you guys.